Yo, dude, I have been thinking a lot about my, like, femininity, my masculinity. I feel like I used to make, like, a lot of videos about, like, how I always just have no fucking clue where I stand on, like, the spectrum of femininity and masculinity. It really honestly doesn't matter, um, but it is just something that's always on my mind because, you know, just being, like, a trans guy for, like, you know, it's only natural, not natural, but, like, it just seems like the the right path to go down is, like, being super masculine and stuff, but that's never, like, fully been me. I feel like I've always dressed, like, a little bit, you know, just a tiny bit, like, feminine, but, like, masculine vibes for sure, and, like, being a trans guy in the same way, but I do sometimes like to dip in the femininity because it's so much fun. Like, it's a lot, obviously, a lot more fun than masculine shit, you know, and I was actually about to um, I was actually planning on, uh, like, putting on makeup in this video, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't even want to put on makeup, like, I was gonna put on mascara, but I was like, I don't want to, um, I think it's cute and stuff, but I do have, like, a day planned, and, like, I'm gonna have to take it off, I remember the process of taking off mascara, I think if, the, if that process was easier, I'd probably actually wear it, but I just remember every time I put it on, like, it was always a hassle, maybe I, maybe it's because I'm cheap and I don't have, like, those products to take off easily, but anyways, I am planning on, like, trimming my, not trimming, but putting some slits in my eyebrows. Um, I'm also planning on uh, maybe painting my nails. I'd have to think about a design. And I want to put in more jewels in my hair because I've gotten like a lot of, I honestly like almost every time I talk to someone, they compliment my my jewels in my hair. Um, and I don't even have that many. I have like random ones. I think even in the back, I have like maybe three or something. So they're very like sporadic throughout my hair. And I love, I love the look. Like I definitely coined this look. So even if I said they started it, it was me. Um, I honestly don't even know because I just remember I was just playing with my hair and like was like, let me put like these piercings in my hair. So I really actually feel like I came up with this. I do. So if you know anybody who's been doing it for years, let me know. Um, anyways, I'm going to put more jewels in my hair. That's honestly like the main thing I want to be doing. Um, but I do want to, I want to slip my eyebrows first because I thought about it. I was like, I really like the look of slit eyebrows. You know, there's just, it's just so clean. I feel like it's, um, I feel like sometimes it's not people's vibe though. I feel like a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a few people I've like, you know, talked to and stuff and like, they'd talk about my slit eyebrows. They were like, you know, Oh, it's still like 2005 or some shit. So, <clears throat> I don't know about 2005. How old was I in 2005? I was literally like eight years old, so I need to stop. But anyways, with the eyebrows, the look I want to go for, I feel like the look I always want to go for is just like kind of like a clean cut. Just, you know, something something normal. I'm like pissed. I have like acne on my forehead. Uh, see, like that's also why um, femininity is so cool. Like if I was a person that like wore makeup, I feel like, there is, like, a sense of, like, more confidence you can get because you can just cover up the insecurities. And I feel like just being a masculine man, the whole thing is, like, here's me. I look crusty. This is me, you know? But I do really try to be, like, a clean a clean boy. Like, even though I am, like, kind of more on the masculine side, that's the one thing I will not do. I will not be a dirty, like, one of those dirty masculine dudes. Like, hell no, you know? I recently got a compliment by somebody, and they said that I... Um, look like I smell good, which is, honestly, I thought was, like, one of the best compliments I've ever gotten, like, it's a, such a sweet, it's just, like, such a sweet compliment, all right, so let me get in here, I'm trying to think about where I want to put this guy, I'm kind of thinking I want to put one right here, and should I just put, should I just put one right here, and that's it, I just feel like whenever I only put one, it looks like an accident, and I want it to look like I actually purposely did this, so I think maybe one, maybe a little, um, a little slanted, one right here, and then, Hmm, should I just do two? Maybe I'll just do two on this eyebrow. Maybe that will be cute. And that's the great thing about eyebrows, they grow so quickly, so. Also, I am planning on buying some some hair dye, some bleach. I'm, I'm trying to see different bland, brands and whatnot. I want to get a cheap brand that will actually bleach my shit. So if you know any brands on Amazon, I'm thinking Amazon, Amazon, Walmart, any of the cheap ones, let me know because I really want to bleach my hair super soon. And I have been considering doing my eyebrows. And also I considered trying to uh, bleach my beard again, but, ow. but um, I just remember last time I did, I didn't look too good. I didn't like it and I immediately uh, dyed it black after. So maybe not. All right, let me get in there. I'm a little nervous. I'm thinking right here. Oop. Did I literally just get my eye my eyelash? I feel like I just got my eyelash. I don't know. I don't even know if that's 
I think I need a little more work in there. I think it looks good. What do you think? I'm just over here thinking. I think it's a little thicker than I wanted it to be. <laughs> so that sucks, but... I think I might put another one over here. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. That's how thin I wanted it to be, but... This one ended up, <clears throat> this one ended up being a little more thick. But that's okay. I think it looks good. I think it looks clean. Um, it even makes me feel like I want to shave my beard a little bit mm. yeah i think i'll shave it let me go grab a little extension thing for this guy all right let's do it Okay, I can never tell if it's even or not, but I'm trying. I really am. But I think that's good enough. Now it's time to get my um, my jewels. Look at these jewels. Ooh, there's like hair and stuff. Yeah. But I got all these jewels. Um, are these called jewels? I think it's just piercings. It's literally just a bunch of piercings. Um, I just want to add like a few more. Uh, I'm just looking now and like, maybe I should put them on here. Ooh, all right. Okay, I'm looking now. I really like this one. Hopefully my phone can fucking focus on this tiny little guy. But it's basically, if you can't really see, if it's not focusing, it's blue. And it goes from white to light blue to dark blue. And they're little spikes. So I want to do that one. Um, my eye. Um, what else? Ooh, this one's kind of cool. This one has a red star instead of like a blue and white circle and the other side is actually a white star instead of a purple circle so um that's really cute what else oh i like this one it's um oop, god damn the ball just came off um okay i really like this one wait a minute never mind that one doesn't look too good um Okay, this one's cool. This one's literally um, some orange cubes, orange dice, orange die, whatever. Um, so I think that's really adorable. Let's do that. Okay, this one's cool. I got a, a pink, these pink balls. Okay, I want to add this red dice, red die, um, but I need another ball for the other side. I could steal one of these balls. Okay, I found him. No, that won't work. Okay, I found a purple see-through ball. That one looks pretty. I'll use that on the other side of that one. And, ooh. Okay, this one's kind of gross because I know this was on my nipple at one point. I'm going to clean it. But it's like a gold. It is gold. Um, gold balls. And... I feel like that's all I should do. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do for my my hair charms. Oh wait, there's there's black spiky, a black spiky has a hair on it though. <laughs> all right, cool. So I got quite a few that I can add in. I guess I can start with this black spiky one. I don't even actually wait. I need the fucking I need this mirror to oop, to literally look to see where I want to put it. So let's see here. I'm thinking I'll map it out. I love these things because they're just so they're just so random and cute and fun. They really make like they make hair fun. I really suggest if you have dreads, I say go out and you know put some little piercings in your hair. But like see like stuff like this, I know for sure is like more on the fem feminine side, which is totally fine. I'm never like trying to like run away from femininity or anything like that. I just <clears throat> I just don't know where I stand, and I also don't really need to know where I stand, but I guess it's it's always helpful to know, like, say if someone asks, like, 
are you a more of a feminine person or are you more of a masculine person? I think it's always cool when you know who you are and what you are. And I think that's one of the very few things I don't know about myself because it is like a social thing, I guess, in a way. Because I think the way that I live my life is masculine. But I feel like if you looked at my house, say you just come into my house, you're a random person, you would think a woman lives here. Because, honestly, because of art. I know men are into art too, but like just the vibe of my art is very feminine. And I think that's, I think that my art has always been like a, a way that, to show my femininity. But actually, at one point, I only did, um, I only did like, Pink, uh, pink paintings like my whole thing was like just painting pink things and um i don't know i love painting a pink thing i love pink pink is really cool like i always i always love that color i do hate how like the, these we have like blue and pink and they're like so associated with like you know either gender and it's just like it's kind of stupid because why why do we do that why can't we just leave the colors out out of it you know like they should just live their life I do think that it's cute that, like, the trans flag, though, is, you know, blue and pink together with white. I, I do think that whoever came up with that is, is pretty funny, and they know what they're doing. All right, great. I got the uh, got the blue one, blue spikies in there. Um, Let's see here. What's up next? All right, I'm going to do this red star and white star one. This one's a bigger one. So where should I put it? I need to put it somewhere that you can see. I feel like I'm missing some down here. Well, maybe I'll put it over here in the corner, somewhere I can't really see. Just you know, to add some pizzazz. I don't only want to have, I don't only want to have like these, you know, little jewels, these little piercings, um, in like the front of my hair where everybody can see. I want it to be in the back of my head too, you know. So you look at me from the back, you're like, "Ooh, that's a really cool dude over there," you know. Also, I do want to mention like. Being, like, a trans guy, like, I think, or it's, like, trans in general, I think that it's just hard, like, in the very first stages of, like, transitioning. So, I do think there is, at least for me, I felt like I had to be, like, super masculine because I wasn't even going to be seen as a man unless I was really masculine. So, I think that kind of is sticking with me. And I think it's honestly, like, fucking me up a bit because, in a way, I almost feel like I can't, like, re re revert back, verb <laughs> revert back to, like, my true self and, like, just be, like, not caring at all about the way I dress, not caring at all about presenting masculine or feminine. And I think it really just that, honestly, like that, I don't know if it's trauma, but like that, the vibe of like, I need to look like a man at all times. I can't have anything feminine or people will see me as a fucking girl, you know? And I kept it with me. So maybe at some point I can revert, reverse that. And, and, uh, but I don't know how I, I don't know what my vibe is right now. I think honestly, my goal and my look, my aesthetic right now is kind of more so like, um, I want to give off, like, I think I just want to give off art vibes. I think that art vibes, <laughs> that's even a thing, it sounds so weird. I think that art vibes, I can't take these, I'm mad, because I want these two to be one, but I can't take off these balls. Um, so fuck that. Um, but yeah, I feel like art vibes is where I'm, I'm heading, like, um, I want to have, like, you know, really, I want to look like I know fashion, you know? I know I'm, like, really cheap, so it's hard to do that right now, at least, because, I just can't get myself to spend money on, on clothing, like a lot of money. So, I mean, I can just be thrifting. I can just pop around and just be thrifting a lot, which I do now, but I, I want to thrift more. So I have like more of a variety of, of clothing, of clothing and whatnot. I think that that would be really cool. Ooh. So yeah, I'm thinking like tattoos, piercings, um, really cool fashion, like really cool shoes. Um, a really cool house design as well, you know? I just want to give off that and whether or not there's masculine or feminine traits in there. Um, I do think that I'd lean towards darker, though, like, in any in any area, you know? Like, I'd say, like, I have, like, a graphic tee or something. I think that it's going to be, like, black or, like, red. I like black and red. I think those are really cool, like, clothing colors. Um, well, this is the last one I have, the nipple one. I guess I could go wash it real quick. Let me go wash this thing. Okay, I finally washed the gold one. I think this one is so cute. I really love it. No wonder it was in my nipple because I think it's such a beautiful one. Oh yeah, I literally already have a already have a gold one right in the front. So where am I gonna put this other one? That's the real question. Cause I feel like the gold really stands out. Um, I'm kind of feeling when I look at my face and my hair, not my face, my hair. Um, I feel like I'm I'm 
I'm thinking over here. I feel like I'm missing a little bit of pizzazz right here. So I think I'm going to do this one. And this one's such a juicy thread, so it will actually be really easy to get in there. Yeah. Yay. All right. See, I need to trim my, my hair a little bit because you can't really see my eyebrows. You can't see my, my slits. But, you know, if I, like, part the eyebrows, I guess, maybe that will. Or part my hair, you can see the eyebrows. I don't know, whatever. I guess this, it's kind of nice. It's kind of like secret, and I, you have to, like, catch it. You have to catch it when my hair is blowing in the wind or something. Then you can see the slits in my eyebrow. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, as for painting my nails, I thought about it. And I feel like whenever I want to paint my nails, I always just think I want to paint X, X's on my nails for some reason. I don't even know why I love this painting X's, you know? There's something about an X. Okay. All right. The moment of truth. Yeah, I remember I used to always paint my nails. I don't think I'd put on makeup for at least, like, eight months. And I haven't painted my nails probably for, like, nine months, ten months. Like, I really just... I kind of, I kind of neglected uh, my femininity a little bit. Okay, this X. That's why I love X because it's okay if they look bad. You know what I mean? It's okay if they look really bad, but sometimes you just sometimes you just gotta make. It's kind of like art. That's why I like painting nails. It's literally painting. You know, and you can show it off. It's like painting. That you can just show off to everybody that you meet and see. I'm not going to lie though. I am a little bit nervous because I'm actually hanging out with someone tonight. And you know I feel like I'm always like a little bit scared. Like going on a date. There's not really a date. But I'm going to talk about dating, dating specifically. I'm kind of always a little bit scared to like come across as two feminine when I go on a date with a woman. Because especially like someone who like identifies as straight or someone who like specifically dates like trans men and men like cis men and trans men or something um I think that like I'm always just a little bit nervous that maybe I come across as too feminine and like they're not attracted to that because I'm always watching those videos on like how to improve on like dating and stuff and a lot of them say like you got to show her your masculine side and I'm like yeah but like I also have a feminine side I want to show as well but like I don't want to show it too much too early on I guess but also the person I'm meant to be with, you know, they're gonna they're gonna love me for me, and uh, that's all that matters. I don't even think I'm gonna attempt to do my other hand. I don't, I don't even think I'm gonna attempt to do it because it's bad. I can't really paint that well, paint my nails that well with this hand. But yeah, there's my nails, um, and my hair. I don't know if I give you a close up, but um, I'll do a nice little little turn around for you. And I think probably, I think I'll probably order that bleach within the next, like, I don't know, within the next week or so. I'm going to put it in my Amazon cart, literally right after we, um, right after we, right after I end this video, I'm going to put it in my cart and just, like, think about it. Because I am considering trying this new brand that I was told about, but I'm just always scared to try something new. Like, when it comes to, like, bleach, you know, you never know. Everybody's hair is different, you know. And the person who told me about it is, is like white and I, I'm just like wondering, well that, you know, I have dreads and like, you know, I've bleached my hair like, I don't know, maybe five times. Um, and I just don't want to have my hair fall out or anything like that. That'd be crazy. Honestly, I'd be so depressed, but I'm not gonna lie, I have been lately thinking about shaving my hair bald. I've been really thinking about it and I'm a little bit, I am actually a lot of bit scared. I'm really scared to do it, but I do think it would kind of be a vibe. You know, a part of me does want to like maybe lose a little bit of weight and then shave my head or like so I also think I don't have to like go as far as shaving my head. I could just have a new hairstyle, maybe cut it here, cut it there. I definitely am going to be cutting my hair soon. But as you can see, like all these little like cute little curls like are just popping up and I don't really want to cut them off because um, the last time I cut them off, like, excuse me, every time I cut my hair, you know, it turns into basically like something like this, like this little fluff ball. But then it takes some time to turn into like a curl, like like these. So 
I um I guess I don't want to wait to, for that to happen, and I don't really want to cut them, but I do need to cut them if I want my eyebrow to show. I love the mullet look, but I think it's really growing out a bit. Like I kind of want to be able to see my full ear, so I think I'll cut off all that. And you know what I think I'll do? I think that in the same video that I I'm definitely gonna be filming bleaching my hair. You know I film everything, um so I'm gonna film that, but I think I'm gonna link that up with cutting my hair. So I think I'll cut my hair and not like shave it but just trim it trim my hair and bleach it at the same time in like maybe a week or two from now so look out for that um anyways thanks for hanging out with me uh i hope i hope you enjoyed what tell me what you think about my look um you think the it, is it too much did i put too many in here um i guess there's not no, no such thing as too much but you know i don't want to look like a little crazy like a little too much you know there, it, i guess there could be too much but I do like it. I like how I look. I like how it's looking. I love my nails. And maybe in the future I will make a video about, not about, but putting on um, some mascara or something. Or, yeah, I think mascara. Yeah, mascara. Um, because I am curious how I look with makeup again. I would love to just take a peek at it. Um, so maybe, you know, look out for that too. Anyways, that's all. And yeah, peace.